It's cold here. Hi, I'm Dala, and uh, today we are installing pedals into the EV NX. So this pedal comes from a diesel Volkswagen Touran from circa 2012, if I remember correctly, or was it 2011? Anyways, I don't remember. But uh, the reason I bought this pedal is uh, because it uh, fits with the motor management that I'm gonna be running on the Leaf. Uh, more on that later. But uh, yeah, since this pedal is from a Volkswagen, uh, it will uh, take some work to retrofit it. Uh, let me show you what the pedals look like right now in the NX. So. Yes. Nice. Nice flat. So it's a bit dirty in here, but um, yeah, this is what the pedal setup looks like at the moment. Uh, we have a clutch here, a brake pedal, and the old gas pedal. Uh, the gas pedal is actually a, a wire-driven pedal, uh, so it had a throttle cable attached to it, but uh, we're not going to be using that anymore. Uh, so this whole pedal will get deleted and we will put the new drive-by wire pedal in. Uh, the brake pedal, it will stay as it is, but the clutch pedal will also get deleted. So at the end of this video, this whole section will look a lot different. Yeah. And yeah, the car is a bit snowy because I had to push it in and out of the garage in between projects. But yeah, here is one thing that we're gonna be deleting today. It is the clutch cylinder and the reservoir. Uh, you can see that this part originally wasn't meant to fit this chassis, so I drilled out here a bit so I could fit this uh, hydro clutch pedal. But uh, we won't be using this anymore, so now I'm gonna delete it. Success! Now the clutch cylinder is free and it can now be unhooked from the other side. Uh, before I could even reach the pedals I had to remove some custom wiring. <laughs> some custom wiring. I mean this really reminds me of my younger self when I just added random wires and like pulled them all over the yeah, interior and behind the panels, etc. So this is just some optional wiring for the waste gate control and water injection and uh, etc. Stuff like that. But glad that is all gone. So now I can throw that in the rubbish bin and now instead focus on the pedals. Okay, so I vacuumed up the cobwebs and now we can start to actually remove the pedals. Let's start with the Accelerator pedal. It's held on with two 10 millimeter bolts. Carlunk! It's free! So it looks like this. A bit yucky. Yuck. It now goes in the trash bin. Now the second pedal, which is the clutch pedal. Let's see how this one is fastened.
Victory! Woo! Okay, so now it's only the brake pedal left and uh, that one will stay as it is. There will be no modifications to the brake system. Well, except for a vacuum pump later on. But yeah, now when the pedal is no longer attached to the slave cylinder, the reservoir should simply should simply slide out like that and we can throw it in the garbage bin. Okay, so now simply to install the new pedal. But before we mount the pedal, I'm gonna get the wiring done. The pedal luckily came with the connector and a few centimeter of wires attached to it. I'm gonna be extending this and uh, show you my usual method. First step is to expose enough copper. These wires are so short and fragile, so I can't access them with the automatic stripping tool. I'm instead gonna be relying on a carpet knife and very carefully making small cuts in the insulation. After the cuts have been made, it is possible to bend and remove the insulation. Need to be super careful and take it real slow here. Once the wires are stripped, I pre-tin them with a soldering iron. I do the same thing with the wire that I'm gonna be splicing in. Finally, just join them together with the soldering iron. Easy peasy when both pieces already have solder on them. Oh, and don't forget the shrink wrap. So here's the end result, a quite neatly extended wiring loop. Okay, I am now at a place where I'm quite happy with the pedal position. So I simply put a stud through the floor here to mount it. And uh, luckily one of the original mounting holes was useful for this pedal. It's almost like it was meant to be. So when you're sitting or driving, this is what it looks like. It's quite quite easy to switch between the pedals. Yeah, I am very happy with this. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Uh, be sure to smash the subscribe button into orbit and click the bell icon and whatnot. Everything helps this channel out. And if you're really wanting to support this build, consider checking out my Patreon page. Thank you. Dollar out.